All right, so this might seem a little bit crazy and a little bit far-fetched, but I've got this idea and if it works, it's gonna result in a really cool photo. So where I'm from, I live in Melbourne, Australia, and it's currently about to be summer now, and I love shooting in the rain. And obviously, because it's about to be summer, there's not gonna be any rain. So today, I thought that I could try and make some rain in any location that I wanted to, and I'm gonna be using these two things. This spray thing, I don't, what do you call it? A, a trigger sprayer and this plastic pocket thing. If this works, I will be able to create some really cool photos and actually make it look like it's raining. There's only one thing left to do. Let's go shoot it. So I'm at the first spot here, which is a tram stop and Obviously, as you can see, it's a sunny day. There's no rain at all, but I want to create that rain. When I was driving here, the actual squirter bottle that I was using spilled and I don't have any water in it, but luckily I have a water bottle. So I'm going to fill that up, put that in the sprayer bottle. I'm going to spray that on the sheet that I had before. And then we're going to try to get a shot of like a behind shot of a tram as it stopped at the stop. And I'm going to have to actually go on the thing. That, that's the thing about this spot. I'm going to have to go on the actual tram tracks for this shot to work, so hopefully I don't get run over. All right, so I don't think that worked as well just because the tram wasn't there for as long as I wanted it to be. Like the second I went on the tracks, it just moved away so it wasn't really in the photo. So we're gonna go find another spot. I don't know where exactly, somewhere around here because we're in the city, there's trams everywhere. So we're gonna have to find another spot to take this photo. I'm in this little alleyway now and it's good but like trying to get the shot that I really want which is like sort of a look up shot is hard to get because when I hold this thing up obviously it's like really floppy and I can't hold it upwards to get the shot if that makes sense but that's alright because now I know maybe next time I might have to use something more stiff or something I don't know either way this laneway has some pretty cool lighting it's nice and soft so it means that we can get some nice soft diffuse lighting <laughs> Well, that was something different before and it's always good to try something different with photography. It sort of reminded me of when I was first starting and I was just experimenting with all different kinds of photography. If you thought that was a cool idea, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you go out and try this, please send me a photo on Instagram. I would really love to see if someone actually goes out and tries this because I love making these videos and it takes me a long time to make them. But my favorite part of it is when I see you actually go out and do what I've said in the video or show me something new that you've learned from my video. Anyways, enough of that stuff. Let's talk about the photos. So to begin with, I was at the first location where this tram spot was. And the idea obviously was to get the shot of the water in focus and then the tram in the background out of focus. But obviously trams move and I didn't, I did think this, but I didn't think it would move this fast. Like it was a really bad spot because I couldn't get behind the tram when it was stopped. There was like a railing in the way, which meant that I couldn't go behind the tram. So I got this first shot here where, as you can see, the plastic sheet is like bent. So I quickly took another one. And by that point, the tram had just fully gone and you just couldn't see it. So yeah, it was a bit of a fail, but I still got to see that this thing actually worked. So now that I had that in mind, I knew it worked. It was time to go find another location, which brought us to this shop. I think it was a lighting shop, like perfect for getting bokeh. If you don't know what bokeh is, it's this sort of out of focus light balls 
in photos. And I ended up getting this photo here. And the thing that I like about this photo is that we have the orange colors of the lights, which contrast with the shadows of the image, which are blue. It's just another good thing to keep in mind when you're taking photos, like contrasting colors. Colors that contrast together work really well in photos. Also, another thing that I noticed just as I was editing the photo is that the lights actually look like water droplets, which is pretty cool. Well, I thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, you might not think it's cool. And as I was taking this next shot, which was a look up, this guy actually came and helped me because he saw that I was struggling because I was trying to hold the thing up and it was just flopping down, obviously, because it's not thick, it's a thin piece of plastic. So this guy helped me. It wasn't that good of a photo, but it was just cool like to see some complete stranger come and help me. And last but not least, this photo here, which was taken in that alleyway, which I thought had the probably the best lighting out of all of these photos here because in the alleyway, there's no actual direct sunlight getting in. It's just diffused from the clouds above and it's sort of just peeking through. This photo here is probably the moodiest out of them all and I love moody photos, so it's not my favorite of the shoot. My favorite was the light ones, but this photo here comes up in a good second place. And I took this series of photos here, starting off with this first one, then the second one, and then the third one here, which is the final one, just to show you guys what it actually looked like from my perspective. So what did I learn from today? Next time I do this, which I'm pretty sure I will because it's a pretty cool effect, I'm gonna make sure that I get a piece of perspex. So hard, tough plastic that's not gonna bend and sort of blow around in the wind because that will enable me to get different angles that I couldn't with the plastic. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, no, that, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're a beginner photographer or just like me, you love photography, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel. Do it. <laughs> my goal is to teach you guys how to become better at photography and try and make you motivated to go out and shoot because I know sometimes it can be difficult to get up, leave the house and go out to a location and take photos, even if it's your passion. But yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end of today's video. As always, stay inspired, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>